Hi guys! Hope y'all are doing well. Welcome back to my channel for those returning and for those who are new. Welcome, welcome. So you might notice I'm in my Christmas pajamas. It's not Christmas yet, but I thought it would be perfect for the theme. Anyhow, this is my Mr. Darcy pocket size. I have had him now for almost four months. So three and a half months, something like that. And I said I would do a setup video for this handsome little man. And so this is the perfect time. So it's the first week of December and I thought I'd share my setup. So you may notice that there is a charm and it says be still and that is a Bible verse in Psalm which is be still and know that I am the Lord your God. It's a type of leather that can scratch up easily so if you don't like things that scratch up just know that. So the patina on this has happened and I just love it. There's all kinds of scratches and dings and of course Chic Sparrow is the maker of this beauty. So this is the pocket size Mr. Darcy in the Austin Leather Collection by Chief Sparrow and it is the heritage version which has pockets. So it has the regular pen loop and which is fine. I use a pencil in it so it doesn't bother me. Um, it won't get damaged in my purse. So you see um, the marks from my pencil clip and this is normal for this type of leather. So as you can see, it's got some striation marks and y'all might have seen the unboxing and I'll link it in the description below if you haven't. I'm trying to film this quick because there's only enough time in the day to get really good lighting and I try to use natural light as much as possible because that's the best lighting, I think, um, instead of artificial light. Okay, it has a nice patina from the first time y'all saw my Mr. Darcy. It's got the two small pockets, the big pocket on the left, and then the secretarial pocket on the right. So let's get started. As y'all know, I make my books. That's my preference, but I have bought books for my other sizes. For the pocket, I haven't purchased any books. I have just been making them. Okay, so the first one, and y'all might have seen the inserts of these. It's the same inserts. I just made covers that fit a Christmas theme. So this is the first one, and this is my journal pocket insert. So this section is the start of the Christmas section, which is December. This is just a vellum paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. And yeah, it's pretty small. I was hesitant at first to get the pocket size uh, because... I didn't think I was going to be able to journal in such a small book, but I love it. I can journal it. So, all right, so that's the first one. And I'm just going to find a spot on the first section here. All right, and this is the second one. And what I did is I just wrote with a gold marker in laminate paper, and then I ran it through my laminator. So it made kind of like an acetate. And I put it over this because I thought it was really pretty. And again, it's the same setup. Y'all have seen this before. This is my list booklet. So all kinds of list cleaning lists, wish lists, those kind of things. So I put it in the second section. So that's that. And then this is the third one. This is my weekly. And I'll give you a peek at what it looks like. I covered the names of my family and friends. And so this is kind of what my week looks like, just to give you an idea. And I'll just put it in the third elastic. And what I did here is just decorative paper. And I made like a little gift thing and I hot glue gunned a ribbon. It's just made of three ply cotton cord. So. And then the last booklet that I have is my calendar. And this also is a laminate paper that I just uh, cut out some decorative paper and I just ran it through the laminator. So it made another acetate. Um, that's the back of it. But it's just snowflakes. Then this is just white gel pen that I wrote out, Joy. Decorative paper and washi tape. And this is my December calendar. I purposefully left all the information out because 
I just didn't want to have to cover all of it. So, but yeah, I have a lot of birthdays in December and a lot of events, but I didn't want to put it on here. So just so that y'all can see. And this will go on the last strand. So now that y'all have seen my books, we're going to do the pins. So I used a small binder clip. It was just a set that I got from Target and I hot glue gunned a Christmas ribbon. Nothing fancy, just in gold. And then I put this back here. And clip it on. I think it looks pretty like that. And then the next clip I have is this clip. I took some ribbons that I got from Michaels and I just cut them up and then I used a jewelry nylon string and then hot glue gunned it on a paper clip and I put it on the wink that I need. It's just like this. And then the next clip that I have is this cutie. So this is just Christmas ribbons that I got from Costco. It's like a bunch of ribbons. I put um, the ribbon that I got from Michaels, wrapped it around, hot glue gunned it, and then got a gold paper clip and put it in there. And these paper clips and these pins, they came in a set, as I mentioned, um, from Target. So I just put it in the month that I need, like so. Isn't it cute? Oh my goodness. Okay, and then... The last clip is this Tim Holtz clip and I put it up in the front and then I had decorative paper that I laminated and it just goes right here. It says have a cozy Christmas. These clips again that I got from Target as a pack. This decoration right here is just decorative paper. I cut some decorative paper as well. And this is just white gel pen and I wrote Merry Christmas. Okay, so I put it just like that. And then y'all have seen the stencils already that I use and I just keep it in the same spot. One in the big pocket on the left and then the two in the top small pocket on the left and then a card with washi tape and I just use like gift cards that I've already redeemed my Christmas washi tape some of my favorites and I just put it in here and then the last thing that I have is this bookmark it's an extra bookmark whatever journal section I'm on I have it right in here and then in the back pocket, the secretarial pocket, I just keep my stamps and my address labels and my receipts back there. So same spot. I am a creature of habit, so I pretty much do the same exact thing because that way I can find stuff because it never does change. I have a pen that I got. It was a set of two from Target. And it's the same pen that y'all saw in the Emma A6. If y'all didn't see that, I can link it in the description below. So it just goes in there. And then, there you go. So, let me back up for a minute so y'all can see. This is how he looks when he's all put together. And you can see all the uh, Christmas bows and stuff like that which makes it festive. And so one more quick peek. So that is the front. And then the next. And then the next booklet. And then the last booklet. And then the back. Okay, well, I hope y'all enjoyed this setup video. It's been a long time coming, I know. I've got a ton of videos and I really appreciate y'all being so, so patient. It does take a lot of time to edit these videos, y'all, and I'm sorry, um, but you know, there is life around YouTube, like family life and everything else, work, school, things like that, so 
Thanks so much for understanding. Thanks for all the new subs and my subs that have been with me for all this time. I really appreciate y'all and I love all the comments that y'all leave. I love communicating with you that way and I really, really appreciate all of the love. And so I hope your family has a blessed Christmas and uh, for those who are dealing with uh, losing loved ones uh, during this period. I'm so, so sorry, and I hope that uh, you have peace in your heart. That is my prayer to you. All right, take care. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.